Welcome guys to this new Beatrix Express. I'm gonna be showing you really really quick and totally from start from scratch how we can link your hamspot into your actual warpress. So there's two things we need to do before we can continue. Because in my case, what I want to do is to get started by having a hamspot account. If you don't have a hamspot account, go to app.hamspot.com. It's gonna be really, really easy to have an account already been signed in. So as you can see, I already have my app of hamspot already been signed in. Here is my actual dashboard. So now what is left to be done before we continue is to go into WordPress and sign in using your actual WordPress account. Now that we have both applications opened, it's crucial that you have a really active plan into WordPress in order to do what is next. And what is next is to add a plugin. So in order to add a plugin, it's going to be really easy focusing to the left part. It says plugins, go with add new. And now here where it says search plugins, I wanted to look out for half spot. So I'm going to hit into this keyword. And now, as you can see here, I have the HubSpot email marketing live chat. So it must have the install now. If you don't have this, or it might be appearing like update and activate and install, you need to have an actual plan in order to have this. So I can totally suggest you to look out for the most basic plan into Woo uh, or WordPress in order to continue. So now that you have installed your HubSpot, let's activate your actual plugin. So let's go here into HubSpot and I want to go with continue with Google. It's really important to continue using exactly the same account that you are already been signed into HubSpot. So all the elements from HubSpot should be like send it right away directly into our actual uh, WordPress. So I'm going to scroll a little bit down. It looks like you already you're using HubSpot. This is crucial. If you don't have any HubSpot account, you don't have to worry about that. We can go and create an account with a new user. In my case, since I already have an existing account and I have a few things inside my HubSpot, I'm going to go with sign in. So just like that, I just need to hit once again into my email address and hit into next. In my case, I think that I can use this. I'm going to do this really quick into Google. So I'm going to skip this part. And there we go. Here is my user already been added and imported. So as you can see, I have my account and here is my actual domain. So let's go with continue with this account. And now I'm going to hit connect my website. So in order to continue, once again, if I go back into my HubSpot, I want to make sure that my actual WordPress website has been linked into HubSpot. So let's go into continue to HubSpot portal. This one should be taking me into HubSpot, but check it out that we are inside WordPress, uh, inside our actual plugin of HubSpot. So now I'm going to hit into start the demo. And as you can see, here is all our marketing dashboard. Here is going to be appearing our custom URL, our context. I'm going to hit now into next tracking. As you can see, HubSpot is actually like really accessible with, let's say, trying to find out what we are actually looking for here into HubSpot. So the most important thing here is to, let's say, learn how to use the elements of HubSpot inside uh, WordPress. So we don't have to go into HubSpot and do all the elements in here. I mean, everything we can do this already here into just one place. So that's the reason why we are going to be using HubSpot uh, from now on into our actual WordPress. So if I focus here into help uh, spot, check it out here that we have the, uh, I'm going to click here. I'm going to focus only the actual mouse here. We have the context, the forms, my live chat, email settings and listing. So that totally depends on what you're actually trying to look for here. So if I go back into my HubSpot, I'm going to go here into HubSpot. And I'm going to make sure that in order to this plugin to work correctly is that the domain actually it's exactly the same that I try to use here. So I'm going to copy this actual page, which in my case is this one. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to go into my account. And here, let's try to look how for our actual domains. So as you can see, I have the domains and URLs inside HubSpot. 
you hit into connect a domain and as you can see here is my primary domain so i needed to focus into the one that says website pages and i hit now into edit set as ready for publishing and hit into save this one sometimes take even like an hour to connect our authentication method but that's the way of how we can connect our email our hubspot directly into our website or wordpress once you have successfully done that you're not going to be able to use all the HubSpot elements inside WordPress. So it's going to be really, really easy to now get started here into HubSpot. So as you can see, guys, it wasn't that hard. With that being said, guys, we haven't reached into the very end of the video. So don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more great tools of how we can get started here from HubSpot directly into WordPress. Thank you so much for watching the video. Hopefully I can see you next time.